episode of World Check, we're going to be looking at some Lesko Pulse. Sorry about the baby noises, I've got my little son in my stomach while I'm filming. So these started out as a bit of a mystery to me, and I saw the pictures, I was a bit confused. But after a bit of research, it all became clear, and these are quite interesting. So I was quite excited by the fact that they came with the quick caps and the fact that it's quite a cool star design. Almost looks like a Riverside R101 with a little bit of Hayashi Street chucked in the mix. After a bit of digging, I did in fact find out that the quick caps weren't actually by mistake. So what happened is 1981, a company called Lesco actually asked work wheels to produce these for them. So I'm going to put the, uh, the Lesko logo and then turn this spoke and it will work. So yeah, that was quite cool to find that out. And they're genuine three piece splits. These are 1982 vintage wheels. These ones are the fully painted gold version, non machined. Luckily, I've got a set of those. They're all pretty, pretty nice condition. Just 14 by 6 set, so they get relipped at some point. But along with that version, they also made this version, which is the machined version. And as you can see, this bit's been machined to be shiny. And it's quite a cool design. It completely changes the look of the wheel. You can't really tell, because this is black here, these details just kind of fade away a bit and these stand out a lot more. Since collecting these, I've had a couple of people message me about what the differences are between the machine version and the non-machine version, if there is any. And actually, rather than it just being machined and painted, it is actually different. See this spoke here, it comes along and the little arrow points to the start. And then this one comes along and it does actually stop. And there is a little cut in it. Also, where the actual star comes past where the center cap goes in, it's actually joined on the machine one. And then this one is actually a gully between each nut hole. Both use the same M8 bolts with countersunk washers and nuts on the back. It can be quite hard to source these countersunk washers. I know Pine Engineering do do them, but they're all the way in New Zealand. And if you're in the UK, there's a company called Grimscar Noted, and they've actually had a batch made up of these countersunk washers. These are the black anodized version, which are quite tasty. That's a good look. You see the, the bolts actually say work on them. So the original bolts for these wheels. All in all, quite a good looking wheel. Quite rare. And I'm keen to get these widened. And put them through. That's really good. This one will just become a display wheel. Um, not as fast with the machine version. See the all painted version. I quite like the all gold, so they'll be staying like that. Another cool little Easter egg that I found on this wheel, because this wheel had a sticker on it, which you found out what Lesko stood for. So the Lesko logo there, and it says Leaders Equipment Sales Co Limited. So Leaders Equipment Sales Co Limited. Name, but it makes sense now. Some of the eagle eyed of you might have spotted this in the background. And the last episode, you saw my Enki Motorsport in the disgusting fluorescent orange. And I tried to put a bit of paint stripper on it, and it just revealed some fluorescent green <laughs> and then the white factory paint underneath. So I've now had it acid dipped and blasted. Um, what a transformation really. That was hideous to look at before. And it's quite, quite nice. 
lip just needs a tiny little sand up just to get rid of some of the nicks and stuff but other than that it's quite a straight wheel really and then the back of it clearly see all the markings now inky nice board Tidy.